With the 172nd pick of the 2023 NFL Draft, the New York Giants selected running back Eric Gray out of Oklahoma. Eric, congratulations. Welcome to the National Football League. First of all, where were you when you got this call? First of all, thank you for congratulating me. It's a, it's an honor. It's a, I'm blessed to be in this position. But when I got the call, I was actually in the car. Me and my friends. It was time for me to get out of the house. <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of tired of watching the draft a little bit. Me and my friends got in the car and drove, and that's when I got the call. Uh, me and my friends were going crazy in the car. I pulled up back home, and everybody was running out of the house going crazy. It's a good, you know, you got to change up the scenery every once in a while. I get the waiting game is a tough one, but you know, you're here. You're a member of the New York Giants now. You've been playing football since you were four years old. I love this story. Your mom was the director of your youth league. Your dad was a football coach. Your uncle won a national championship with Ohio State. Football seems like it's in the blood, in the family. At what point did you know that this was a viable career path for you? You know, I, you know, I say I always knew, but when I when I first got to college and I saw that I could play on that college level is when I knew that I could make this a career. Um, just being here today also tells me that you know, it's a dream come true, something I've been wishing for my entire life, and it's finally here. Now, coming out of Tennessee, I know you've gotten a lot of comparisons to Alvin Kamara. Is there is there a player that you would compare yourself to? I know that's a tricky question because you are Eric Gray, but is there one that you would compare yourself to or you'd like to be compared to? For sure. You know, like I said, I try to take something from everybody's game. You look at today's game, you look at Alvin Kamara, of course. You look at Christian McCaffrey and what he can do. Um, catching the ball out of the backfield. I would say, you know, taking something from both of those is what I try to be. Now, you started your college career at Tennessee. You actually played a season with Jalen Hyatt, who is also a newly drafted member of the New York Giants. Have you two been in touch yet? I'm going to call him. As soon as we get off and I get some time, I'm definitely going to call him. Yeah. How was your relationship with Jalen? Jalen was really good. You know, he was younger than me. He was Kind of, I was kind of wanted to help him um, as a freshman, kind of teach him the ropes a little bit, you know, teach him about working hard, you know, what it takes to be in college, what it takes to be a great receiver. And you see him bursting on the scene this year. He, he did a great job. So now you started at Tennessee, but then you transferred to Oklahoma. What went into that decision for you? You know, everybody, everybody, I went to Tennessee because I love the program. I love the head coach and what he's, his vision was for the program. You tra you fast forward to 2020 and everybody gets fired. Everybody leaves. Everybody that I went there for um, gets fired. So it was kind of like a, me and my family just decided to, to weigh our options and see what we found. And we ultimately found a home in Oklahoma. Um, I love Oklahoma. They brought me in like I was there my all four years. It was a great place for me to be. Taught me a lot about playing a position. I've heard, too, in other interviews, you talk about how you wanted to not only you didn't want to join the Alabamas, you wanted to beat the Alabamas. I kind of love that competitive mentality. Where would you get that from? I would say being a coach's kid growing up in, in a football household, like I said, my dad was a was a football coach my whole life. So just having that competitive toughness in me, I've always wanted to be on that special team that does something special rather than just on a just on another team who keeps doing the same thing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in your college career, you had 549 carries as a running back and not a single fumble. When was the last? Do you remember the last time you fumbled the fo football? I do not. I do not. I do not. Fair. Hopefully, it'll be a while, hopefully. It'll be quite a while. That is a great skill to have coming into this league. I mean, coming out of your, your last season at, at Oklahoma, you rushed for 1,366 yards, 11 touchdowns. You had 44 carries of 10 or more yards last season. That's the first among Big 12 running backs. What do you want Giants fans to know that you're going to bring to this organization? Just a, a weapon on the offense, somebody who can run, who can run every run scheme, who can also catch the ball out of the backfield. Just another weapon on offense that that defense has to prepare for each week. Eric Gray, thank you so much for taking the time. Congratulations. I know that phone's going off the hook, so I'll let you get back to those calls and texts. Looking forward to having you in the building out here. Thank you so much.